Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, and today we'll be going over coding exercise 30 from the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp. So you've been going over objects, and um, we kind of went over like the key value pairs and how to get the values. So um, this one, there's a lot of questions that get asked, and I think it has more to do with the wording than the actual like knowledge or lack of knowledge. But it's saying that it points to a string using the information from restaurant. So a lot of people think it's just this. But in reality, what this probably should say is it creates a string with all the information. And they want address, city, state, and zip code. And they want it to look like this. So there are two ways to accomplish this. So let's go over both of them. So I don't know if you guys remember from a video or two ago. The way, I wonder, I guess we'll just do restaurant one. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's because it's already in the, like up here. All right, so restaurant one. So how do we get the name? Well, if you guys remember, it's just restaurant, the object name. And then we could do dot name, which would give us that, or we could do the, that. and so all you're doing is you're just saying object name and then the key of the value that you want to actually get. So if we want the address, we would do restaurant one dot address. And that's going to give us whatever Johnson way, and it's just like a, a randomly generated number. So you can't cheat. So we do dot address. And then for city, we do the same thing for state. Is that okay? And New York, and then we got zip code. So that's how we're going to access them all. <laughs> and so we have a couple different ways here. Um, we can use just old school concatenation, or we can use string template literals. So um, old school concatenation, and it, it needs to be full address as the variable name, is just like math. Remember, we're just adding stuff together. So since you can't like numerically add the plus u because their strings are not numbers, it just combines them together as one string. So you know, like I said, we have um, you know, so we'll do uh, you know Colt plus steel. That's not a math. There's no math to be done there. So all it does is it just scrunches the two strings together and you know, so that's 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 called concatenation. Is just using that plus sign. So, um, so what we need here first is the address. So it'll be, we'll just do restaurant dot address plus restaurant dot city plus restaurant dot state plus it'll be rest code. And we don't need that last guy. And this should give us the address plus the city plus the state plus the zip code. So let's see what we get. And we can see that that passes, which it definitely shouldn't. So, oh, okay. So I see the problem here. So that kind of backfired on me. Um, I was expecting this test to fail, but all they're really checking is that all four of these things are in a string somewhere. Um, so the person that wrote the test is just, um, they didn't test good enough, I guess. So what you'll see is we get full address, but it's gonna be, there's no spaces. So there's a space in the address part because they're already there, but otherwise we're getting this, everything is all scrunched together. So really what we want to do is we want to do, you know, new full address. And we want to do the same thing. So we want to do restaurant.address. Then we want to add, but we want to add a comma and a space. And so you do that by literally just adding the string of the comma followed by the space. So now there's going to be a space after. 
and we can do you know restaurant dot city and then again we want a comma and a space so we just literally put the string there and we just add it to that and then we want the restaurant dot state and then they don't want a comma but they do want a space so let's see here so we still want that space and then we can do restaurant dot zip code and so now we should get okay so now you'll see we have these commas and we have these empty spaces and again we just do that by literally adding that or concatenating that to the string pretty um i don't want to say basic but you know it's a pretty simple process once you know that you can do it so what's actually happening in the test and this isn't something that you guys really have to concern yourself with because we're, this doesn't go over testing um, and you'll get there eventually but all that the test is looking for is that the zip code that this number is somewhere that this ny is somewhere that this brooklyn is somewhere and that this random address is somewhere and so that's why um this didn't fail like i thought it was gonna but let's pretend it did because it should have and we can just do and we'll make sure that this still passes or if we mess something else up along the way and perfect it did so um, again like i said there's two ways to do it so that was way one and that's called concatenation um you will see that out in the in code bases a lot um, but you won't use it very much now with string template literals we've made this entire game a lot easier so while it wasn't a huge deal um, imagine if you had a bunch of strings or a really long string you know you have to add all these pluses um, you know if you forget to add a plus that breaks everything so it is kind of a pain in the butt and so what happened is string template literals came in and they made this a whole lot easier so i don't know if you guys remember from a previous video but it's um, to do string template literals you use the back tick and that's just going to be the, the the slash from top left to bottom right kind of looks like a comma it is the key above the tab on the left side of a us keyboard and so if you remembered we could do javascript in these and so all we need is the dollar sign followed by the squiggly brackets and we can do our own javascript so here we just want restaurant.address we can do that because we're inside of the string template literals and we're also inside of the dollar sign squiggly bracket now the benefit to this is i can just keep writing my code and if it's not in between the dollar sign and the squiggly brackets it just treats it as a string so instead of having to do the the plus and then the comma space and then i gotta remember the plus again or it breaks i can literally just just put it right here and that's fine and so we can do restaurant.city and then i think this one had a comma space and then we had restaurant.state and then a space no comma and restaurant that is a code and so this should give us the same output and you'll see that it does so these are the two ways to do it again um, you will likely see this out in the wild and there's nothing wrong with this but it is just kind of trouble it's not troublesome but um, it's a couple more steps and it just gives you more opportunity to miss a plus sign and possibly screw up that string so I would always use string template literals, but it is good to know about this because you will probably come across this. So I hope you guys learned something today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.